Hello guys and welcome back to Hey Manager and Hammer Time episode number 6 and it's going okay. I guess it's going okay so you can so to speak anyway. Since last time it's been a pretty disappointing little bit of a run. I'll quickly just run through it with you now. So schedule wise we have played Arsenal. We managed to lose to them 1-0 from a Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang penalty in the third minute which was a bit Worrying, to be honest. A decent game where we should, probably should have done better. And Young Boys, 3-1. We absolutely had a field day against Young Boys, the team. They were they were just not good enough for us on the day. And to be fair, we did play quite a decent side against them. Because I wanted to try and beat them. And so we could gain more points in the Europa League. And then that ultimately led to a 3-0 defeat against Brentford. Where... We just saw ourselves get absolutely overrun. I tried to switch things up at half time. It was slowly working, but the side just wasn't the same because we had to play Yarmolenko up front to partner Bowen, and it just didn't work out. It just the midfield, the wing backs, everything just didn't work as it should have. But today I've come back against Norwich because in fact we've drawn in the Carabao Cup Manchester United. This is the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. As you can see here, Liverpool, City are still in it. But you've got to see us maybe as the maybe fourth, maybe fifth favourites behind Leicester. It's going to be an interesting lookout, really, to see how we can perform in the Carabao Cup because Liverpool against Blackpool is probably an obvious one. Millwall City is probably an obviously one, obvious one. Cardiff Leicester might be a bit of an upset, but if we can beat United and take revenge, that will be next episode and advance through, obviously. So today we have got in terms of the league, uh, in the league, yeah, Norwich. But in looking at the league, it's been a bit disappointing, hasn't it? We were up here in the 14th region. We were only three, four points off of that seventh spot. And now we're sitting quite far away from it. We're sitting a good seven points off. But today could see us rise up into 13th. If we beat Norwich, but they have been on a very impressive run, we can see what how well, we can see how we can do it, basically. I want to up the tempo in this game. I want to really change everything around because Fabianski is injured a little bit, so I want to take him out. But other than that, we've not been performing too well. Cresswell hasn't been on top of his game. Uh, not been really impressed with him. So I'm going to bring Mus Mus Musuaku into the side. I'm going to leave Suchek and Declan Rice in that midfield because they're just so good. They just, they need to be in the side. Vlasic can come back into the side. I want to see him play instead of four nails purely because I think he adds a bit of a better like a better, better target man should I say to the side. Um, ahead of that I'm probably going to bring Yamalenko and four nails onto the bench and put Antonio back up front in that complete forward role he likes to play in because he sort of drops off, plays that like a left wing area, as you can see here. He sort of drops into this bit, Mikel Antonio. It's a low positive influence, but it's good enough. And he also drops back into that like left side spot. So he, he plays pretty well in that area. Um, but yeah, most of the time he is playing in this left hand striker spot, which is what I like to see. I like to see him do that. He's got the physicality to do it as well. Um, other than that, not really much to report. It's just been a very. Very unentertaining running here at the moment. I mean, Vlasic needs to really come through. I think he's, I think he's, he's playing very well. He's, he's, be getting better, should I say, um, all as well. So let's just hope he can try and perform against Norwich today. We're going to play cautious purely because our form has been pretty diabolical of late. So I want to see if we can try and change that in this game today. Norwich, a pretty. A lackluster side. I don't want to say that the the start of the season is pretty lucky, but when you look at this type of players they've got, Max Aaron's is a decent enough player, but he's very young. Billy Gilmore as well, a great shining star within the side as well as Todd Cantwell, but just not the type of players that are going to get you far. Um, I'm going to point the finger at the lads. I want us to improve on that last performance. I want to try and hype them up, give them a reason to play very well. And we're going to skip into the game now and get into the action where I think, all things considered, we should be. We should be winning this game. We should be. Their their attacking front three is not good enough. He's not good enough at all for our well our quality of players. Look at Vlasic, look at Bowen, uh, Rice and Sue checking that midfield are absolute tanks. So we should be winning this game as Bowen picks up the ball on this right hand side. Good bit of good bit of acceleration out onto the right hand side there. Can we maybe play it back? We need to try and get players a bit further forward, maybe. Dawson gives it to Rice. Here we go, the slow build up. This is what I wanted to see from West Ham. As Antonio finds Bowen, who's got the finishing ability now to me. It looked like he dropped back on side there. I want to try and see if he did. I think he did, personally. Goal, 
disallowed. Right, interesting. Interesting enough, that has been disallowed. Let's see what happened here. Vlasic plays the ball to Antonio. It looked like he was just running back, but no, he wasn't on side. And Bowen, it could have been 1-0, but we're struggling to see any, not reaping any rewards yet, should I say, from this game. But nothing really spectacular has happened so far. Mosuaku picks up the ball, gives it Vlasic, who finds Rice. Will he have maybe an opportunity? He doesn't, but he finds Antonio. And we've managed to get a goal there. Thank God for that. We've been waiting for that. Norwich stunned by our side. A bit of a slow build-up. A bit of a nice little play. I thought, well, we've not had that many exciting options yet. But Rice, we seem to be very efficient. At maybe getting the ball into the box, finding Antonio or Bowen, and then putting it in the back of the net. Rice with a nice little build-up there. So, we've managed to get that point. We've pushed them up into 14th. We need to obviously score two more goals to pump us above Leicester. But at the moment, we're just trying to hold on from a corner, which has just been headed over. Um... Right then, at half-time, pretty happy with how we've played. I'm going to outstretch the arms. That was a very good first half. Keep it up, and maybe let's try and get let's try and get a bit of momentum going in our favour. Obviously, we like to see the visualiser on this side, but I think this year you might be able to look at a, maybe momentum, but I thought, and well, obviously you can't at this point. Uh, we'll look at our stats on that right-hand side. As, as Norwich, I, I just lost for words there. Let, we left Gibson unattended. And I'm wondering if that was actually onside. I think, well, again, you can never second guess this now. Ah, goal disallowed. Gibson, he's been disallowed. That was lucky, that, I think. Gibson, oh, he's miles off. Fair enough, fair enough. That's why he was unmarked. I was a bit shocked. That's why I didn't speak or anything, because he was a bit shocked. I was like, how has he been left? But yeah, interesting times nonetheless. Let's see who else we can possibly uh, get an opportunity in this game. Vlasic, oh, that's a poor, ta that's a poor tackle as Gibson. He's going to be shown red. And this is going to be my opportunity now. I want to go positive. I want to see if we can get a goal. I mean, I want two more goals, essentially. We've got three minutes to find two more goals. Vlasic, he's been near enough play through, but he tries to find a ball through to Yarmolenko, who's just come on, and it hasn't worked. As Norwich now trying to play it out from the back. McLean's on it. Gives it Pucky, but Diop's there. McLean on it again. Gets closed down. Now, come on. Can we maybe find a tackle or something to try and make ourselves a bit more available? As the board been pinging about in the box and now Bowen picks it up and he launches a, a counter-attack from what should have been probably a goal. Yarmolenko's on this left-hand side now. Can he beat his man? He whips the ball in. Oh, I thought it might have just, just gone in there. I, can't, I don't know who headed that at the back post, but it looked, might have been Rice. But he just didn't fall nicely for him. As we've won the game 1-0, we've got the three points that we, we've needed, really. Nice work. I'm not going to say anything outlandish because it was only 1-0 at the end of the day against a, a pretty poor Norwich side. So there's the opponents there. Norwich sort of slowly falling down the table now. Uh, one goal difference for us. Slowly climbing up at Leicester. We're on par with Leicester. Just one point off Brighton. Tottenham having an absolutely shambolic start to the season. Same with Crystal Palace. Minus 14. They're not really firing as of yet. I've been looking at a few Crystal Palace players that I could bring in. I quite like the look of them. In terms of transfers now, I've been looking at bringing in, jo uh, obviously, Jordan Lukaku. You know that from last time. That's what he's looking at at the moment. Uh, 12 marking, 13 tackling, which is good enough for me. Good first touch. Can get forward. Great off the ball and teamwork. He's got 17 strength, so could possibly even play as a centre-back if I needed to. A great acceleration, great pace. I think he's just a nice little backup for that left back position. As well as that, look at the dribbling and crossing. Very, very good on that left hand side. Musuaku slash Cresswell, nice little link up there. Danny Kubayos is coming in, at, uh, not the end of the loan, but as a, as a loan option. He's on the transfer list. Club don't really want him. I'm going to try and bring him in now and see perhaps if we can buy him in the summer because then I can have. Danny Caballos is more of like a Metzala support going forward. He looks pretty good going forward. I've got, I can't lie. Great passing, great first touch, decent long shots, good dribbling, good acceleration, and good stamina. Everything you need for a Metzala going forward to partner the box to box in Suchek. And then we can see Declan Rice playing that DM role, which he obviously prefers. He's got a better rating playing there. So those two are definitely coming in in January. That's a definite. And then I've been looking at Matteo. Musaccio. So he's a 31-year-old centre-back, obviously Argentinian. I think he played at Villarreal for a few years and went to Milan. Um, so not past his prime, but an ageing defender, but a very good one nonetheless. We're looking at Musaccio coming in. This could then see us perhaps seeing Craig Dawson leave the club at 31. I know he, 
I know he's a fan favourite. Everyone loves Craig Dawson. He's great at heading. But as you can see here, the stats aren't particularly great. Plus, you can get quite a bit of money for him. Well, whether or not we see, for example, Ogbonna leaving the side. A lot of um, wage freed up. Three million as well. We could around about ask for him. Uh, but it just frees up another spot. Because Musaccio, if, if we get him in, that is because he is wanted by... A lot of clubs, and I mean a lot of clubs want him on, on the free. Uh, we've asked him for eight, well, we've, we've offered him 18.5 million. So he might accept. So we'll have to see that, won't we? But thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you did enjoy the video. If you ever, if you did, please leave a like. United obviously are running away with the league on 19 points after seven games. Uh, a very different perspective as to what's happened in real life, but is what it is. Our overall balance is 50 million. We might have a big transfer budget in the summer. Uh, in the January, we'll have to see. But yeah, for now, I'll leave you with us sitting in 14th. Happy to get the win against Norwich. Hopefully we can carry on with this. I'll come back to you, obviously, with the Manchester United game and the Carabao Cup and get, hopefully, a bit of revenge against them. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, as ever, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next episode. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.